Today, I'm going to show you a technique to connect data sets that is a serious time saver. If you're like me, this is a task you've had to do many times in the past when working with data. I know I've used XLOOKUPs, VLOOKUPs, SQL statements in databases, and those things can work great when they're set up, but they really can take a bit of time to get set up and are a pain when they're not working properly. In this demo, I'm going to be using Datagraph. Datagraph is a Mac OS application. This is something that I have found so useful for me in terms of connecting data data together. My name is Pamela Schultz and in fact in Datagraph version 3 we didn't have this ability. This was something that was added for me to solve this problem for me and I really have found it so useful and such a time saver. I'm going to run through in fact three different scenarios for you today of data connection needs. I'm going to use a simulated set of data for a student roster and the first scenario is just going to be simply connecting one data set to another using an ID. Then I'm going to take three different tables where I have student scores and I want to pull them into one larger table. I'll show you how I can do that. The final thing that I'll demonstrate is essentially kind of a daisy chain of multiple tables that are connected using this mapping technique. And at the end, I'll also show you some troubleshooting tips for using this technique. I really have found this to be such a time saver for me, so I hope that you stick with me and I'll show you how to do this in Datagraph. Let's get started. In this first example, I'm going to create a connection between two tables. If I go into Datagraph, you'll see that I have this student roster. It gives me a list of every student, but it also gives me a code as to what department that student's associated with. Since I can't remember what all these codes mean, I've also brought into this file a list of departmental codes and the name of the department associated and the college also that goes with that person. How do I connect these two? All you need to do is bring your mouse over the department code column in the student roster table. If you then right click, a menu will pop up that you can then select to map that you want to map this column to other available columns within this file and here I can select from the department's group either department or college. I can select one at a time so first I'll select department and then I'll also go ahead and select college. Once I have these two columns in here I can move them around and rearrange them if I like and that's it. That's all we need to do to connect one table to another. Now in the next scenario, I'm going to have multiple lists of grades that have a different list of students in them. And I want to connect this again back to my student roster. So if I go into Datagraph, I can see that I have these three different actual tables of grades. I have a midterm grade, a final grade, and a homework grade. The midterm and the final have the student ID. The homework has the student name. I can connect with either. I can use a numerical value or a text value to connect data. So if I go back to my student roster, again, I go over to my student ID column. I'm going to right click and go to the map column. And what you'll see, but based on the student ID, are the two places, the both the midterm and the final, where I can pull in those grades. Now, I, when I pull those columns in, I will need to rename them because they both have the same name in the tables they're coming from. But you'll see how now I have for each student the grades uh, associated with the student names in the right place. Uh, if I want to then have the homework grade, I can do the same thing here. I'd right click on the student name, map that to the homework grade, and again, rename that column as needed and rearrange them as I need to have this data in the format that I want in this one master table. Now I want to show you this last scenario where I'm using multiple lookups to connect different tables to one another in kind of a daisy chaining action. The scenario that I have put together here is one where we have also a student project that was done and I have a table that shows me what project group each student was in but then the grades are assigned by individual group. So rather than me having to type in for every student what the grade is, I can again use this technique to populate the grade for each of my students in this intermediate table. And then once I have that, 
I go back to my main table and use the same technique to now show the project grade for all of my um, students that are on my roster. So now I have this complete table that has all the information that I wanted. And then I could use this data to come up with expressions that would then calculate an overall grade for my students, knowing that I have properly connected my grades with my students, whether it's by student ID or name. Now that you've seen how easy it is to make these connections, let's talk about a couple of things that can happen that might be an issue for you. For example, here I have my data set again where I have my student roster and I have my grades. And here if I try to do the connection, I'm not seeing the mapping option. Why is that? Well, there's really two primary reasons. Either the name of the column isn't right or the data type isn't right. Both of these have to match in order for this to work. So in this case, both my column names are not right. They need to be consistent across the columns that I want to match and the column I'm matching to. And the data type is also different. And I can tell the data type by looking either at the data side panel and the icon associated with either numbers or text, or I can look at the little icon in the top right corner. Anytime it's a text, you'll see that little AB there indicating that it's a text column. Once I have these consistent, then everything can match up and I'm back in business. I'd like to share with you one last troubleshooting tip for something that happened to me in the course of making this video. I was matching the student names and the mapping showed up properly in the menu. I was able to pick what I wanted, but when I did that, nothing was being mapped. What was the problem here? Well, it turned out that there was one single space in front of every name in one of my columns of data. This is something that has definitely happened to me before when pulling data from a source, importing it or downloading it. And it can be a little bit annoying, but Datagraph has a very handy feature within the find and replace option that lets you quickly remove extra spaces like this from a column of data. And once I did that, everything worked great. You can download the file that I created today from the Datagraph online examples. You can see a couple of graphs that I created, how I calculated an overall grade, and also use a different functionality in the map column to determine intervals to assign a letter grade. But I would also say open up this file and try the command F function, because one of the reasons that we bring data together like this is also to see where are pieces of data missing. And within the find functionality, I can look for empty rows of data. Here I can see students that are missing data for whatever reason. I can also even copy and paste this filtered subset, save that somewhere else in my file if I want to refer back to it later. So this is a very useful way, not only again, to connect data, but to see where pieces are missing. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or contact us help at visualdatatools.com. Thanks.